Here is a model of Illinois, and this can be used to illustrate one of the processes that was going on during the time of the ancient ocean and the ancient delta swamp. This model of Illinois can be split open, opened up, to show the rock layers inside. Now, of course, the rock layers inside aren't really all these bright colors, but we color code them so that we can show them easily in this model. What is happening in Illinois all during the time of the ancient ocean and the ancient delta swamp is that part of the crust is sinking. Think of plate tectonics. Think of continents moving, getting warped and bent. It's not too surprising, maybe, that the crust warps down or warps up in one area or another. Well, in Illinois, the crust was moving down. Centered in this part of Illinois, the crust was sinking. And it sank several miles. Now, you might think, well, that's going to leave a huge hole. But it didn't work that way. Because the crust was sinking only very slowly, you know, maybe less than this much a year. Who knows? As it sank, the ocean was depositing sand, or it was leaving behind seashells. And later, the delta swamp was piling on mud. So as that crust sank, as that hole tried to form, the oceans, or the delta, filled it in. So rather than a great big hole, what we do get are really thick ocean deposits. So as the crust sank down, the oceans filled in that hole that never really formed with sand, and then later with carbonate material seashells. The yellow represents the ancient ocean sandstone. The blue represents the ancient ocean limestone, the seashells, the carbonate material. And in the southern part of Illinois, these rocks are much thicker than in the northern part of Illinois, where the crust wasn't sinking down that much. And then the green represents the rocks of the delta swamp. They're thin up here. They're much thicker down here. So this sinking formed kind of a bowl or a basin. It's called the Illinois Basin. But rather than ever becoming a great big hole, what it became was a collection point for all of these rocks. Now, what does this mean? It means that the rocks in southern Illinois, from the ocean, from the delta swamp, are much thicker than the rocks in northern Illinois. And what happened was when wind and water eroded, washed away, removed some of this rock. All of the rock of some types was removed in northern Illinois, but it wasn't removed in central or southern Illinois. Look at this map here. You'll see what I mean. The greens on this map are the rocks from the ancient delta swamp, the shale where the coal is. The pinks and purples represent rocks and the orange. The pinks, purples, and orange represent rock from the ancient ocean. Why do we see these up here when they should be under the rocks of the delta swamp? The delta swamp came later. It buried the rocks of the ocean. Why are the ocean rocks visible here? Because the delta rock has been removed. And remember, the rock layers were thinner up north than they are in the center or southern part of Illinois. And these thinner layers were removed entirely. All of the delta shale is gone from northern Illinois. And the ocean rocks are the first rocks you run into when you dig down.